typically the sort of tasks that you think about where you're loading parts in and out of machines, sanding, dispensing. We talk about the 3D jobs, the dirty, dangerous, and dull. But for everything that you take away, you have to give something back. So we talk about the 3B, three benefits, better productivity, better health and safety for operators, and better quality. You make less scrap with robots. We've come to the On Robot event in Manchester. We're finding out about a brand new platform called Deploy. Um, but I'm here with Mark Gray from Universal Robots. And I'd like to find out, Mark, first of all, what is the, the nature of the relationship between Universal Robots and, and uh, On Robot, please? So On Robot are a UR Plus partner, which means that they make components that fit on the end of our robot and they're plug and play. So it makes them very, very simple to deploy. Okay, plug and play. Very, very well described, I guess, in, in a nutshell. Um, and what is the importance of this plug and play? I mean, Traditionally, how would automation be done in a shop floor maybe 20 years ago? And how is it being done now on, on, on robots such as the one you see behind me? The big difference with industrial robots to collaborative robots is the design time and the implementation time. And obviously, having products that are plug and play means they're out of the box ready, which is really important to smaller manufacturers because they need to be able to deploy things quickly to see the difference quickly. They don't have that luxury of time. So urgency is what it's all about, really. And urgency, I mean... Previously, would you say there was only the big companies that were able to afford automation and be able to deal with the, the fallout once that automation has, has kind of reached its end of life? Yeah, I mean, disruption really has come into the market from collaborative robots in the fact that we can help smaller companies, as well as the larger companies as well, by automating simple tasks. And doing that means that we can automate so much more in the marketplace, and it speeds up the adoption rate as well. And for those listening to this who maybe have never seen a universal robot before, or you've seen the, the control system you use to, to program it and change things, um, how is that different to what they would consider a normal robotic, say a pendant uh, that you use to, to set up a normal industrial robot? What are the differences? Yeah, I mean, the industrial robots use, there's about 40 different programming languages for the industrial uh, robot arms across there. And you generally had to be a very specialized programmer to do that. We've specialized in making a piece of software called Polyscope, which is aimed at non-robot programmers. We've tried to make it very, very simple to program. Okay, fair enough. And for those who um, are interested in finding out about how the UR control system works about the deploy system. What problems will they be facing day to day that, that UR can help with and a non-robot can help with too? Typically the sort of tasks that you think about where you're loading parts in and out of machines, sanding, dispensing. We talk about the 3D jobs, the dirty, dangerous and dull. But for everything that you take away, you have to give something back. So we talk about the 3B, three benefits, better productivity, better health and safety for operators and better quality. You make less scrap with robots. Okay, fair enough. And if, if I was going to be playing devil's advocate here, if I was an MD of one of these companies and I would say, well, I don't want to invest in a, in a, in a cobot because I think it's just going to sit in the corner. My guys aren't going to, or girls aren't going to want to learn it. Um, how easy is it really for those setter operators, those engineers who actually, they just want to make good parts. They don't have to worry about a, a secondary control system. Exactly. So most companies think about a, a really complicated process to put something into their existing manufacturing process and we talk about a deployment pathway something to make it really simple and that's why we're here today to support on robot with their deploy system so they're using a control system that links in with ours to make it even easier for people to get into production and start saving money okay now let's talk about deploy and, yep. and how that fits with universal robots now what is deploy so deploy is a control system and software that on robot have designed to work with multiple brands of robots but particularly in our case working with UR to be able to help people create a relatively complex software program that make it really, really simple with a graphic user interface and dial into it via a web browser. And why would they need something like this? Are we talking um, slightly lower batch volumes that previously you wouldn't have been able to automate? Exactly. So we're, we're talking about uh, in manufacturers who will run maybe batch sizes of 20 or 30 and above, and they would never have normally looked at automation. So by into those smaller companies, those SME companies, there are much more of those than there are the larger companies, and they can face the biggest opportunity to change their manufacturing operations. They can see the biggest benefits. They want to fill a labor gap and be able to get more capacity out of their manufacturing. And what do you think would happen to those SMEs if they didn't follow this trend and didn't look at investing in a piece of automation like the one behind me? I think the, the only thing that they're going to see is they're going to struggle because the world is automating at the same rate. And if, we all, if we're all automated, then geography helps us. If we're seeing more reshoring come back to the UK because we're competing with the likes of China and so on, and logistically, you've got to get products back from China six weeks on a container ship. We can make them here and deploy them into Europe really quickly and really easily. Brilliant. So make more products in the UK and the EU uh, more competitively, hopefully now with automation from UR and also a deploy from OnRobot. <laughs>